Hi folks and welcome back to Coil Life. Today we're going to be having a look at this little guy here. This is the Kira RDA made by a company called Divine Mods. Now, Divine Mods is a collaboration between modders in Japan and the Philippines. It's a little short, stumpy little 22mm RDA. Comes with two top caps, an even shorter one, and this one. And it's got some unique little airflow on it too so let's dive down and get to know this little guy a little bit better and then we'll jump back up and I'll let you guys know what I think okay guys so the Kira RDA comes in this little plastic tub here with your Kira RDA and the Divine Mods logo on the top there like that nice little container for your RDA uh, when it comes you'll get these two Delrin top caps the little short stubby one here has our airflow slot I don't know whether that's going to focus very well in the light but it is just there very very small top cap that you see your airflow slot comes in through there it's just one sided airflow and it comes with this short stubby drip tip and your other cap then is slightly taller and it comes with this section on the top here so this is our airflow on this top cap that comes with this stubby 510 drip tip as well get that out there like that and then we also get a little Delrin beauty ring and the finishing on this is just a little bit off there was a couple of little rough edges there you can see on that there but that's that you also get a little bag of spares, so you get some O-rings, a spare terminal screw there, and a 510 pin. Now it comes already installed with a squonk pin. So we have a look at the bottom of the deck there, like that. You can see we've got our serial number there, our little logo for the Kira etched onto the bottom there it's quite a nice touch in my opinion and um, the 510 pin then this one one there you've got a hex key on that one top caps then are held on by one single o-ring there and then we get to the main bit the deck the deck on this is gorgeous the machining is just beautiful you've got these kind of fins coming out here like this you've got your two terminal screws and your airflow on this is on one side and that's your airflow slot there so your airflow will come in just like that so when you sit your coil in here your airflow is just going to come in hit one side and then up it's a, a, a quite a unique deck this it's quite nice I really like it um, I do think just these terminal screws they could have made the space just a little bit wider for your core as you can see there you if you put any fancy builds in there it, they're just not going to clamp down you're just not going to get them in there it's not made for your wide coils at all so if we have a look then at coil placement on this RDA we've got just a little fuse clapton coil in there so let me just space this out just a touch just like that so we can see how the coil is going to fit in it's just going to sit like that so the easiest way i found of placing your coils in here is to remove the terminal screws completely 
sit your coil in and then pop your screws back in one at a time it's not the easiest in the world to do especially on camera but we get that just like that so you can see it just needs a little bit of a, a fine tune so now we have our coil seated in place and the screws tightened down and you can see there isn't an awful lot of room uh, that is a fuse clapton but there's not an awful lot of room to get any more coils in there at all but you can see then I've just got a spaced out and so where the co where the airflow is going to come in and just if you can see under there move my finger out of the way would help just where the airflow is going to come in at that and just hit that coil just nice and then also what you need to do is just be careful when you're snipping off your leads that you snip them off as close to that terminal screw as possible to make sure there's no little bits coming out <coughs> now I know it's not gonna have a short with a Delrin top cap but the last thing you want to do is to be scratching the inside of your top cap with any stray wire um, so what I'll do is I'll just snip these off now okay so we've got a coil all installed and glowing all nice and even it's now time to get some cotton in there as you see where the coil is positioned it, this is an 3 mil inner diameter coil and our cotton is just going to sit into these two channels here like that and then our juice is going to come up and sit into those little channels so what we'll do is we'll get our cotton and we'll pop our cotton in there just like that my tweezers just to grab that side of it pull that through just like that so we don't want too much cotton in the those channels there so we just snip that off just about there the same on the other side and then as always what I like to do is just to thin out those ends with a needle nose tweezers just to allow the juice to soak up that little bit easier and then the same on the other side just get our scissors and we just tidy up those ends just a little bit so once we have our cotton all in there all nice what we'll do is we'll give that a little bit of a squonk and you'll see the juice immediately coming up and what you've got to be careful of just a little bit is when you've got your top cap off the juice will come out of this little airflow here however when you have this top cap with the top top airflow on there if we just pop that on the only thing about this top cap is you need to take this piece off find where your airflow is just line that up with the airflow on the RDA itself pop that down just like that uh, you can squonk away and we'll see the juice come up there like that there's no fear of that leaking at all what I do like about this top cap is this piece that you can just remove and you can see you can check your wick check your cotton's all nice and saturated 
if it says fire see how that fires up and then pop that on and away you go um, with this top cap it just lowers the profile as a, a slightly more reduced chamber lowers the profile of your audio itself I do like this the styling on this top cap it's a very very subtle look to it uh, but that's about it what we'll do is we'll go back up on top and I'll let you guys know what I think okay so that was the up close and personal with the Kira RDA now I am rocking it here with the top cap where you can take this little piece off have a look at your coil in there and you've got your single little airflow coming in at the top there now it is a very 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 restricted lung hit off this it's almost on the verge of being a mouth to lung RDA it's really good the flavor is excellent out of it now I have to say for me the drip tip that came with it is too short it's just way way too short I've got a bigger one on there as you can see um, and on the other top cap the drip tip I have to say for me personally it's just way way too short and that bore on there if you want a really really tight draw on it um, that it, it's the order so price wise you. you're looking around about 75 to 90 dollars is what I've seen it going for uh, on the internet at the moment now I was lucky enough I did get a first run of these direct from RJ one of the um, manufacturers with divine mods um, I have to say I'm really really happy with it I, they have got another RDA in the works at the moment called the Kanashi can't wait to get my hands on that I've already paid for it I'm waiting for it to uh, finish production and then it'll be shipped out to me and um, so far the quality from divine mods has been pretty good this one vapes absolutely beautifully as you can see uh, but anyway enough from me all the links will be down in the description below including links to the Facebook page and Facebook group if you want to check them out by all means do so um, thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already done so please do hit the subscribe button below and we'll see you again soon